Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone. This will be my first movie review, part of Movie Talk, and I will be discussing a new movie called Dr. Sleep. It's a Stephen King movie. Based on his novel from 2013, which is a sequel to the 1977 Stephen King novel, The Shining. I had high hopes for this. I avoided trailers, and I will say there will be no spoilers. I'm not even putting an image of the trailer or any images up. No plot details. This will be just a quick review my thoughts and feelings and a general sense of the movie so once again i'll learn how to put that big thing up no uh, no spoilers so you don't have to worry i had high hopes like i said for this movie i am a huge fan of stephen king maybe that makes me biased to love all his movies and his novels for the most part I really like this movie. I've only seen it once, and as I discussed on my Movie Talk podcast, I might want to wait until a good copy hits the digital or it gets released. However, I'll just talk about how immersed I was in the movie. I really enjoyed the pacing. Can I see people complaining about it? Perhaps, but I'm a fan of... I'm not comparing it in general, but I'm a big fan of Rosemary's Baby, uh, slower builds. But this had uh, an ability to insert action that I was surprised at at the right moments for me. And when it does build up, the action gets really good. Really surprised me. And one of the things that Maybe it's making me love the movie. I don't remember jump scares. I don't remember the horror and the brutality of certain scenes. Having to have loud banging sounds and or loud soundtracks that blare quickly and startle you. That is a breath of fresh air. Like I said, I'll have to watch it again. And this just came out. So I'll say it again. No spoilers. This is just my... Feelings and thoughts on the movie. There might be a little bit of a problem in certain places, but Ewan McGregor is great. Rebecca Ferguson might be her first movie role is awesome. But the child actress, I believe her name is Kylie Curran. Hope I said that right. She steals the movie. She is great. And I believe one of the other main co-stars is Cliff Curtis. And everything works. The settings, the films, the cinematography, the sound. Nothing's too overpowering. It guides you through it pretty well. You feel immersed. And I really enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of horror. I've said it before on many of my other podcasts now. And I see resurgence in the quality of horror and maybe we're on that uptick and i'm starting to see a lot a lot more good quality i believe the movie is directed by it's actually written directed and edited by mike flanagan who has done absentia oculus hush ouija origins of evil before i wake and Gerald's game. I think he does a great job. The elements come together as a sequel. I think it was very good. They didn't try to totally mimic anything, but they do take elements of the original and they amp it up with some really good action. A surprise for me, revelations here and there, because like I said, I stayed away. From the trailers, except for the novels, I'm obviously going to 
have knowledge of. So, as a quick review, I would recommend to go see this movie. Very well done. Good pacing. Excellent mood. It blends a little bit of the old style, I believe, of horror with new, without the loud, startling bangs and clangs. So, go see the movie. Hope to see you again soon. Take care, everybody.